Hello there! Here we are again with a new device from MWF Detectors. The easiest, the smallest and the faster to detect groundwater. The Navi device. In this video we're gonna explain and demonstrate the features of the device, unbox it and how to assemble and work with the device to find our targets, so stay with us until the end. As always, we got the up-top technology from MWF. Here we have the Navi device, the newest technology for detecting the deepest underground water. Advanced device to detect groundwater, Navi device has modern features and characteristics that enable it to monitor groundwater accurately and effectively. This device provides with the new version of LRL system long range locator from MWF advanced and built in with the device. With Navi we could find all kind of water, natural, salty or mineral, we could discriminate between all types of water. In addition the digital compass on the device screen which shows direction and the target pass as well. The detection depths of this device reach up to 500 meter on the, the ground and up to 2000 meter in distance. Accurate verification of the water location and acoustic indicators issued to determine the water location best is one of the most important of these features. Great speed to provide the result to the user with integrated and comprehensive data about the target and the point center. Of course, multi-languages, internal signal filtering system to avoid any confusing resulting from any high range frequency like radio wave are present in the air or other. Of course, one of the important feature is the automatic tuning system, ATS. We've got in this device TFT color screen, 3.2 inch HD, give the user a clear vision by night and day. Control the level of screen brightness feature, which gives you sufficient lightning for day and night and reduce the level of lightning to save energy as well. Five levels of sound give you a sufficient control of sound output and signal sounds. Control of sound, output and signal sounds of search results, as well as vibration mode. Lithium ion parries give us five hours of continuous searching, moreover provided with a smart charging. So here we come to unbox the Navi device. As we see, it comes with a plastic case anti-shocks. Let's unbox it. So first we have the user manual and inside it we've got the CD and the warranty card with three years warranty. And first thing first, we've got the main unit. Let's grab the plastic and unbox it. We could obviously catch sight of the ergonomic design and streamlined shape which give you the power to search and navigate lightweight and easy to use. We could obviously cast sight of the ergonomic design and streamlined shape which give you the power to search and navigate with lightweight and ease of use. Here we go. The grip to handle the device and give us free moving of the device. And the antennas, we got the post antennas here. And the transceiver antenna. 
and we've got the charger. Comes with nine volt charge and 18 watt. So now we could assemble the device. We have to grab the plastic of the grip and fix the grip like this, as you see, as easy as that, and fix the antennas. Move this round here, and first fix the transceiver antenna and post, which empower the signal for transceiving the signal from and to the ground. Okay. And now it's ready to turn it on. As you see, we're good. As we see the device turn on after pressing the power button for almost one second and we got the main menu interface and now the device is ready to set up and to go searching after we set up the searching parameters. After we assemble the device, the right way to handle the device, we got to open up the antenna and turn on the device and go searching we have to handle it like this we have to keep it horizontally with the floor with a little up forwarded to the ground in this way so together let's explain all the interfaces of the device here in the main menu we got the search and the settings icons first we will go for settings first let's talk about the pollen in the keypad we've got the navigation button and the enter button and the back button and of course the power button so we could move between the icons by pressing the navigation button so let's select the setting icon here in the setting interface we got brightness sound and language we could set up all the settings here first let's go with brightness we could Lever up or down the brightness by pressing the enter button and set the brightness as we want for lightning to if we're searching at light day or night and for sound we could even mute the sound or level it up or down and we could disable or enable the vibration mode by long press on the enter button and for language we could enter the language interface and we got four languages English, Turkish and Arabic and Spanish we we'll keep it on English or we could go back to the sitting interface now after we set up the settings or if we don't even set up the setting we could go for searching right away here in the searching interface we have the parameter of the search and the digital compass and of course we have here the pyre level in every interface we could know what the level of the pyre we could navigate this interface between target distance and depth by pressing the navigation button let's set up the target we have natural water mineral water and solid water and all types of water so let's select all types of water and the distance it comes from 100 meter up to 2000 meter as we see here and the depths between 25 up to 500 meters and after we set up the parameters we could start searching by go for start search and press enter 
Now let's talk about the digital compass here. It show us the north and the south and it show us where are we going. In this device we have so important feature that the digital compass give us to tracking up the path of the target. By pressing the navigation button we could enable the tracking feature to track up the path of the target. So if we go wrong in, to the right or wrong to the left, it will figure out and give us a sound alert to go on the path, the right path that we we are that we are tracking. And again, we could disable the tracking feature by again press the navigation button. That's all for the interfaces of the Navi device. The first way to search. We must to calibrate the device to simulate the waves and field out of the device where we move the device to right and left slowly for many seconds. And then we redirect the device correctly to start the search by moving in a direction waiting the device to read a signal of the target as we see if the target is found the device will receive and read a signal by automatically changing the device from the normal path to which the target was located. This direction is the direction of the target. We should try at least another two directions to be sure of the path of the target. So we will repeat the same part again until we confirm the path of the target. After we confirm the path of the target, we do move in this path to specify exactly the point of the wire. After we confirm the path of the target, we do move in this path to specify exactly the point of the wire target, as we done in this video. We could see that the target is between the two points that specify exactly underneath us. The second way to search. There is another way for us to more accurately determine where the target is located. We are in the process of squaring the target side by taking four reading of the target point from four points. Square 3 meter from the target side, we will notice the intersection point of the four reading. Theoretically, it will be the midpoint of the target. <laughs> 